Hey people, so um, today I wanted to talk more about the mind-body connection, something very, very important. Uh, now I think in mind-body connection, like in yoga, um, that's just, I feel like that's just the Eastern way of saying hand-eye coordination, so that relates to energy work, because like, doing anything with mind-body connection is like energy work. Um, and that's like any type of art, like painting, drawing, uh, I guess claymation, taking an image in your head of whatever you want that thing to look like and projecting it onto that piece of wood or clay or whatever. And um, I guess graffiti is kind of an energy work, but I don't, like, I, I've never done graffiti, so... I don't think, um, I mean, it definitely, it's better when you are more detailed with the image rather than just one plain color, like, I mean, there's painting, which most people, when they paint, it's just to do a room all the same color, like, it doesn't take much thought, and then there are the painters who, like, do it for a living, and they make it. So they, um, they want to make it look something like this, like, uh, you know, where you can see the frog and on stone and, um, or, and leaves. So make it more detailed, more intricate, that's, I guess, more beneficial, um, so my body connection or hand-eye coordination, uh, yeah, so it relates to how the things you put into your body that uh, includes food and probably even clothing and even, like, the weather, like, how exposed to nature you are and, um, even music, like, that's, you're taking in, that's an input, you're put, inputting it into your hearing, so... Everything you take in through your senses influences how your mind and body work. Like, they say you are what you eat, and it's like consume, and consume is, yeah, what you feel, hear, taste, see, uh, I guess even smell, because, yeah, the, I was reading an article today about how uh, they found that essential oils, are, the scent of them is the uh, like highest of vibration substance known to man. So, I mean, I, that's probably why I like to smell them, um, just like the spices, like cinnamon shakers or, I guess, pepper, um, uh, paprika shakers or chili powder shakers or whatever shakers, like table seasoning shakers, curries, um. It's just like the smell, like, uh, I play this game with my mom called, uh, I don't know, Snip Test. I get a bunch of different spices like cumin and uh, garlic and black pepper and uh, parsley and stuff and just close my eyes and she holds them up to my nose and I try to guess which one is and I like it, like, I'm sure there's a lot of, a really advanced form would be if someone makes like some sort of food or dish and you try it, try to guess like what spices they use or maybe uh, what the ingredients are. And I think I've seen that on Zach Cody, Cody doing that. Um, so mind by connection, uh, that also relates to uh, like, exercise, definitely, um, like, I know in Tai Chi, at least in Qigong, like, one of those, more of those internal arts, the, well, all martial arts were really developed as moving meditations, I guess, like, I know in China also, uh, just standing meditations are really popular, where you just find some different way to stand, like, could be with Six of you're setting your weight on one foot and 40 on the other, or it could be with your, um, 
like with their hands twisted or I don't know, just some may look into it on one foot, like do a staying meditation and that could be well they say you start out with thirty seconds and then the next day you can do a minute and the next day a minute and a half and next day two minutes and you can keep doing that up to however long you want, like you could probably do a whole day if if you wanted. Um, as long as I've done is an hour just standing in one spot. Um, and yeah, it definitely has benefits. Like, I'm sure, that's why um, Native American uh, um, sweat lodges are so beneficial. Not because anything with like thanking the creator or whatever, like. I've done those swell lodges with some very crazy people who were um, saying thank you, thank you, thank you to the creator and uh, Tonka Sheila, this is your little grandmother and oh no, all this stuff that's whatever, like, I don't think you're, the creator or whatever isn't really hearing your prayers, they're just you're sweating a lot because it's really hot in that tent. Like, it's a sauna. We start firing, we heat up rocks, and we have a bowl of water, pit of water in the middle. And we pour the rocks in, make steam, and yeah. So it gets really hot and you sweat a lot. So, you know, the sweat, you release all the, the shit that you're... And your intention, that's why... In Qigong, the exercise routines, if you pay attention to your intention, the thing that you want to get out of it, then it works because, like, your body is releasing whatever thing inside you that's, yeah, just when you focus on that one thing. Um, so, mind by connection, I. And talk about uh, so yeah, exercise is a great way because I mean I feel I feel like so many people in the American society they just don't do energy work or they don't really move that much they don't dance like or anything so maybe that's a huge um impediment to why why Americans are so like more stupid or just not as good as other countries like why other countries are so much better than us um yeah so move definitely that's like there's nothing wrong <laughs> moving is good for you and also in china they talk about the all the acupuncture points um there are ones like here on the ends of your the webbing in between your fingers are ones for headaches and uh or just i know to bang on your kidneys is supposed to be like a good way to get more energy um emotional pain you just tap like this um maybe that's why tapping is so effective because you know to get rid of eye tension just you know, like, you're supposed to. I mean, there are acupuncture points on your foot, and me and my brother he makes fun of me for because uh, I said, um, there's one on your toe that if you keep pressing it for long enough, like, you're supposed to not be congested in your nose anymore. And it's like, how is your nose connect to your toe? Uh, how does your ring finger connect to your heart? It's like, ever heard of veins or like arteries or, I mean, we're not just empty inside. We're like, we have a circulatory system and lymphatic system. And I mean, it's like, how are you able to think with your brain up here and you can move your fingers and toes and so far away because it's all connected like we have a whole nervous system and everything like oh that made me think about how 
Maybe that's why the chanting and like yoga helps. Oh, they say Om for a third eye and think Aj third. Right? Yeah, Om is third eye, Ajna Chakra. Then I think Yam is throat chakra, like thyroid. And there's Hom or Hom for a uh, or center solar plexus and Ipora that's Ram and Bam for Sudhisdha and um, Muladhara the root chakra is um uh Lam um so I guess these are all glands based on actual physical glands that resonate with certain frequencies or sounds um and why in Chinese medicine they do have um like these uh this, they're called the six healing sounds for the treble heater it's like hissing like hissing like like uh, there's I think the livers the lungs lung s uh, lungs hold sadness and depression. So get rid of that. You'd go like, um, there's a uh, ha, like long H A W for the heart, heart, some um, impatience and anger and hatred. Ha, and uh, there's for uh, I think that's kidneys for. Um, maybe anxiety and, uh, something else, I don't know, but, yeah, so it's amazing, this, uh, alternative medicine stuff, the more you look into it, it's just, the way it's advertised, it's people, I mean, you gotta experience things for yourself to know, and, um, yeah, don't stay in the dark. Remember, guys, uh, I want you to get out of the cave. That's humanity's great challenge. Um, Plato talked about the allegory of the cave and how at first we're all just judging the world through shadows we see on the cave walls. But now, if you are released from the cave and you start to... um. Your eyes start to adjust uh, to the light. At first, it'll be hard to, you know, the light will bother your eyes. Like, it'll be hard to see things in a different way, but all of a sudden you see, wait, things aren't as they're supposed to be. So, uh, food that will definitely help you see reality as it truly is are um, beets. Um, Pineapple, uh, I guess melons, any fruit really, lemon, lemon water, um, I drink that every morning, ginger, um, I guess spinach if you need enough of it, sweet potatoes, um, uh, tamarind, uh, turmeric, remember, get rid of that fluoride, the fluoride is blocking your third eye so you can't. So you're in a, a um, altered state of consciousness and can't comprehend reality. Um, eat a lot more raw foods because, you know, I've noticed the days I eat more raw stuff than cooked, my skin starts to glow and like, so you can see there's the raw vegan glow and more cooked processed foods you eat, it's just your, um, your skin, you don't glow as much, um, I'll see you in another video, uh, keep thinking outside the box, and so long, farewell, sing too, uh, that's really good for your third eye, um, love you, bye.